Hey guys, Kevin here. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to solve the problem that your absence ink light is on or is blinking. If you're using a PC, you probably get this uh, message that uh, the ink pad is reaches end of uh, uh, life. Then you have to contact absence support. If you're using Mac, you probably need to uh, install the original absence uh, driver not just by adding a printer from your desktop then you get that message the reason that cost this is simple every time your printer do a, a self-cleaning actually dump some waste ink into a somewhere called waste pad uh, the printer has a counter it counts how many times you did a, a self-cleaning and uh, when you reach that max number 100% then the printer will stop working and ask you to call support uh, to solve this problem you actually you have two steps uh, first step is of course you have to reset that counter back to zero the second step you either clean out the pad or install a perma permanent external tank to collect the waste ink so today uh, first thing I want to show you is how to reset that counter to zero and then the second part, I'm going to show you how to install an external waste tank. Okay, step one. Uh, there are few software that can reset the counter. Uh, however, most of them you have to turn off the, your antivirus uh, software or your Windows Defender. The reason is simple. Those antivirus software, they're looking for a software that going to reach inside your hardware that can make some change of the hardware. Of course, uh, that's what you're going to do. Uh, so if you decide to reset your uh, waste count counter, you have to use a software that you really trust. So this is uh, one of the program that I trust. Uh, the website is called inkchip.net, I-N-K-C-H-I-P.net. And uh, I'll be using it to reset my counters. The software interface is super intuitive and uh, the reset is really easy. Uh, let me show you. Then we go to WIC. And before you go ahead and purchase it, it's better to test it, make sure it works on your computer. So what you do is, uh, based on your language, I guess it's English, uh, just download it, just click English and download this version. Oh, by the way, this software only works for Windows, so there's no Mac. After you download it, you can just double click and install it. Uh, if you have a problem install or use the program, uh, you can just go to the forum, which see anybody else has a similar issue, or you can go to their uh, contact and uh, open a support ticket. Uh, let me do their job to show you if your software is caught by the uh, antivirus or uh, Windows Defender. And in that case, when you open it, uh, when you try to open the program, the program has been deleted. So, uh, just go go find uh, what antivirus you have. Uh, for me, I'm I'm just using Windows Security. So double click it, and uh, if you have uh, Norton or something else, it's it's about it's, it's look it's almost the same procedure. Uh, so I go to virus threat protection, and I go history, and I can say threat blocked. looking for thread remove or restored. So say this is the one that I just installed. So I get it removed by, by this Windows security. So action will just uh, allow or restore. It will, it will put the program back. Okay, once the program, we have the program, we can just double click and open it. And uh, see that I, what I said is the interface is totally uh, intuitive. So I'm going to waste ink counter now I can plug in the printer. After we plug in the printer, here is the refresh. You click on it, and uh, it will show you the printer just plugged in. And then now I can read the ink counters. And see, this one have a 24%. And uh, this counter is okay. You they still have uh, some, life, uh, some life left. <clears throat> uh, if it's more, then you can reset it. Uh, this printer seems okay to uh, go ahead and purchase the key. And also you can go to their website and it gives you a list of compatible printers. 
So now uh, it's time to get the key. So you can click a reset with counters now and uh, put your key in. It's going to be a really long string. You can just copy and paste. Uh, after you click OK, it will ask you to restart the computer. And uh, after you restart it, you can check the counter and make sure it's zero. OK, uh, the counter is reset to zero. Now it's the second part that we have to do something physical. Okay, what you need is uh, a screwdriver, Phillips number two screwdriver. I'll use uh, this uh, Eagle Tank uh, 2720 as example. So for this one, the waste tank can be removed with one screw in the back. Uh, now you can just use your finger and just poke it and uh, remove this cover. And uh, now you can see there's another s screw here. If you remove it, now you can slide out your uh, the, the waste pad. You can see this is 24% uh, full when, when we reset it. Uh, some people, is, uh, they, they take those pad out, put it inside the pantyhose, and throw in the dishwasher, wash it, and then and then just dry it, you put it back. That works. The, after a couple of times, the, your sponge will go to look less. It's, it, it's not as absorbent as before. So what you can do is you can go to eBay or Amazon. There should be somebody sell those kind of sponges. And then you can cut it in, into shape. Uh, we, we got some leftovers. Uh, those uh, same kind of sponge. So if you want to buy those, uh, it's available at our website. Oh, somebody mentioned our website. So if you go to bchtechnologies.com, go to accessories and uh, go to waste tank. Okay, there are a couple of things. You can buy you know, as a kit uh, or you can buy them individually uh, because some stuff, just household stuff, you might already have it. For example, the bottle, it's just a generic bottle. And uh, what's special is uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, dual connector. Also, you, you will need one of these tubes. Uh, this is a small tube, 22.5 millimeter, and this is a four millimeter larger tube. And then you need some kind of a, a, a Velcro or something. So that's all you need, four things. Tube, connector, bottle, and a Velcro. Okay, like I started, we need to remove uh, two screws. This screw here, this screw here, and then we can lift up the scanner. Now the scanner can lift up. So slowly lift it up. If you lift it up too high, you're going to pull those two cables out of the motherboard. To put them back, to put them back is not hard, but, but uh, we don't have to do it if we don't have to. I'll put a box here to keep the scanner unit open. Now we can take out the conversion kit. For the connector, if I get it close, you can see uh, it has two sections. So this one is a uh, can connect to a smaller tube. And uh, then this one can connect to a bigger, this section can connect to a bigger tube. So it can be connected to both small and a bigger tube. And for the tube, we get two choices. And uh, sm smaller tube is exactly the same diameter as your Epson original OEM tube. The larger tube is uh, it's a lot larger than the small tube. And uh, when you want to use a larger tube, is, uh, you, have, you have a plenty of openings. So I want the, uh, and the bigger tube is um, less expensive than small tube. So if you have a bigger opening here, and uh, you can, you can uh, choose a larger tube. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to just use a small tube. And then what you need is something to catch the ink when the ink comes out. For this one, I'll just use this uh, this bottle. You don't want to knock this bottle over, so uh, you can get uh, some uh, thing like a velcro to stabilize it. So you can see this is the Epson cleaning um, pump right right down there, 
and then I pump out the the, the waste ink. In waste ink goes into the into the waste pad from here, so we can just pull out the waste tube. So now we use this connector and insert it into Epson's waste tube. So see another end, you can either connect to a smaller smart tube or larger tube. In this case, I want to use the, the same hole as Epson, so I'm going to put in a, a smaller tube. Uh, if you don't want to keep, uh, if you don't want to keep this open, you can uh, just drill a hole through the through the cover. And then now we put this uh, screw back, and you can decide where to put this uh, put this tank. Now we can do a self-cleaning and uh, see if it works. Okay, not bad. Uh, if you worry about this tube is too high, maybe uh, just put this bottle underneath uh, somewhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.